something that I think is interesting, and this goes back to the glass plate idea. Uh, there were a lot of photographs taken at Promontory. Russell took several different plates at, at Promontory. Um, one of them was, you know, just after laying the last rail, which shows the Chinese crews uh, that were who were given the honor to lay the last rail at Promontory. And then just before laying the last rail, which shows kind of a line of dignitaries, the military presence that was there at the time. Um, and then this is our only remaining photograph of this moment. Uh, the moment actually was uh, the presentation of the spikes and driving the last spike, uh, which was not gold, it was just a regular iron spike uh, on the rails. But just after exposing that photograph, that plate broke. Oh, no. <laughs> at the site. So this photograph, um, which you know, many historians have intimated that this was a last-minute photograph uh, at the behest of the two engineers for the railroad. You can see Grenville Dodge here's picture on the right. Central Pacific photographer uh, Simon Montague here on the left. Uh, this was sort of their photograph. So these are all construction chiefs, the crews of the two locomotives, um, and, and really was never intended to be the photo. Uh, but because it survived, that is, of course, the iconic photograph for us. It is interesting to note this plate was made in 1869 before this photographic plate was fractured. So if you've ever seen this in black and white with a line running roughly horizontally across the sky, and that, uh, that's the original negative, and prints made after 1869 reflect that fracture in the plate.